Right guys, good morning. So, a lot of you know already, um, I've got a project car for a few months ago. Uh, we got it from Cold Bar, obviously, never seen it before. Just seen a few pictures on it there. Uh, anyway, we ended up winning the bid. Got it back down in there. It ended up being in really good condition, to be honest. All the paint was all original. Uh, I took all the interior out, so we took all the seats out, cleaned all the carpets so. up. Scrubbed all the leather off and inside the that's really good now. Um, it, we had a few speakers that was a bit what's the worst. So we got um, a pulse system for both speakers all around so we replaced them. We put a double did head unit in it. Uh, obviously we've done the satin perfect blue wrap on it as well. Um, I am gonna be replacing the grill on this today. Um, I ordered the grill off, it's just one off eBay. Uh, I think it's about 180 quid. Uh, so I'm going to be replacing that. We'll have to take the wheels off, take the bumper off, and then we'll, I'm pretty sure on this that this is the old shape S line bumper. So I'm pretty sure that we have to chop the support out from it because this doesn't have one. Um, so we'll get that out and then pop the new one in and then put it all back together. So yeah, I'll do a process video today, help hopefully help other people out that are doing similar projects. Um, so yeah, I'll get the crack on doing this now, I'm going to take the front end apart and then I'll do a time off video and I'll uh, do a talk through of what the next steps and stuff like that. And then oh, right guys, so we've got a couple of um, plastic trims that we just need to remove at the sides, so we'll just pop them out. I've already took the four bolts out of here, they was quite rusty, so I took them out and I've got some new bolts what we are going to be putting in and blood washes in afterwards uh, just because this grill seen better days as well so put these on the side start taking um, obviously you've got to take them one two three four out and then I'm going to jump on the side take the wheels off and then we can get into the arches and um, unscrew it from behind <laughs> So if we go underneath the car, you've got uh, these screws along just on the bottom of the bumper. You normally have your under tray under there, but mine was cracked, so I have ordered a new one. I will replace it soon. Right, guys. So I've got. There's a few. You need obviously a torch. There's a T20. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the right one. Yeah, so you've got a couple of screws around the arch liner here. So we'll take them out. Uh, I've also already took um, my under tray already off. And there's a push fit at the top, just up here. Probably need to take that out as well just so we can get the leverage on it. Right, so once you've obviously got them taken them screws out, you just need to just push the arch slider back. I just like to rest it on the caliper. Just so you've got, so you've got, I don't know if you can see it on here, you've got two 10mm um, nuts on there, so we'll loosen them off. Um, and there's a few screws underneath in the middle. And then same again on the other side, and then we'll be good to go to get it off. Right guys, so I've took all the bolts out now, we're all underneath the bottom I took out. Um, we've obviously took the top ones out. Um, I'm just going to unclip the corners so these pull away from you, so if you just pop them like towards you, 
they'll just pop out and then you've got your two bolts behind here. So one. Right, so I'm just lining this up now to see what, how much we do need to chop off. Um, so, these are the bits that we're going to have to cut off. We are going to have to cut this middle strip out. So, I'm just going to cut on the other side of the um, where the clips go in. Just stay away from stay away from that edge. Take that out, and then it should just be a straight clip in, a couple of screws, and we should be good to go back on. Right, so that's out now. We're ready to clip the new grill in. So I'm going to clip that in. I'll get a tack a couple of screws in it, and then we should be good to go back on. Right guys, so obviously we've, took, we've replaced the grill now. Um, I have just painted the um, the back because when we do put obviously the, uh, the bumper back on, you will see that through the grill and it is silver. So I've just dusted that with a bit of gloss black. Um, so I'm going to put the bumper back on now and then uh, it is a bit hard if you're doing it on your own, but, um, but yeah, fingers crossed, should be going nice and easy. <laughs>
pop the four top bolts in there's one underneath each side of there i have replaced these because they was really rusty so i've just replaced them for some new ones put the plastic caps back in and that's the top one she looks beautiful really happy with it Right guys, so there it is. I've taught you through the process of obviously replacing the uh, the TT grill. Um, I think the, these honeycomb grills just finish it off. It looks brilliant. So yeah, everybody's been walking past me coming on it as well. So I'm gonna. I think as well what we are gonna do. I, I think I'm gonna be flipping this car now. Um, I've been, there's too many people that keep asking and we're selling it, what we're doing with it. So yeah, I think I'm going to be putting up for sale in the next few weeks. Um, and there's just a couple, bit more, couple more bits that I do want to get done to it, uh, just to make it perfect for the next owner. And then hopefully we'll put money into our next project car. So yeah, there it is. If anybody needs any help or anything, just, give it, just put a comment in the down below and I'll uh, get back to you with a bit of help and our advice. Um, so yeah, really appreciate it. We're nearly at 100 subscribers as well, so I've got with one, I think it's 52 or something like that. So we need 48 more and I'll do the announcement for the giveaway for the hoodies. So yeah, really appreciate everybody's views and I'll see you guys soon.